Hey guys, Subtle Static here. Welcome to another video. So today I just wanted to show you a feature in Ableton Live 10, which is sometimes a little bit overlooked. So I myself have upgraded to Live 10 recently and loving it so far. I think it's got so many improvements over nine. Um, but what I wanted to show you is this little thing over here called collections. Um, normally this little red dot here, that's renamed favorites, but I've just pressed command R and renamed it to main VSTs that I like to use. Um, so inside, these are probably the main ones I use all the time. Um, and the way that works is say, if you want to put an instrument in there that you use a lot, um, say you like to use analog a lot, all you do is just press one on your keyboard and it's got a little red dot that appears here. Um, that's now up here and if you don't want that in there anymore you find you're not using it very often you just press one again and it's gone when, when you click off and back in um, so you might think this is a little bit limited because it's like mm, I've only got one folder here what if I want more uh, all you do is you just press edit kind of have to go up to the top because it only appears when you go up here um, and now you'll see you've got like six extra folders. Um, so these are normally just renamed orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gray. I've renamed them all to fit what I've got in there. Um, so you need to click them to enable them because by default, you've just got one. Um, so if we press done, they're all down there. Um, so I've got my main VSTs in the red one. All the different effects plugins I like to use are down in this one. Uh, mixing plugins, synths, and you can also assign folders and different samples to these little collections. Um, so I've got a folder for my kicks, I've got a folder for my snares, and a folder for my hats. If I need any other samples, I just have to do it the hard way and filter through my very messy plugin library, which is quite easy to get lost in. Um, so, but that's basically the main thing I wanted to show you guys because to be honest, it's sped up my production significantly. I can find what I need really quickly and it's not too hard to find either. Um, so you might notice also you can kind of assign it to multiple collections. So with here delay, I've got that assigned to my orange main effects folder and also to my mixing folder. Um, so that's basically the main features of this thing and it's so useful. It just makes things very speedy um, when it comes to getting the track down quickly. Um, like I whipped this one up in oh, probably 15, 20 minutes and have a, li have a listen. There you go. Um, it's pretty much Ableton's built-in sample plugin management, and it's great. Super useful. If I were you, I would totally get into it, um, start using it. You'll find that you're just able to push out tracks a lot quicker. Um, so that's pretty much the video. I just wanted to show you that feature because I thought, wow, that's really helpful. Um, so if you like the video, please give a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.